as a symbol, we have the mosque with the fishes on today. Uh, so, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and they're all. A heartfelt greeting to everybody who is following this event online. Today is an important day. It's, uh, it is the United Nations Human Rights Day. And this year, the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic is in focus and ensuring human rights is central to the recovery efforts. No, we have to do everything in our power to build back a world that is better, more resilient, just and sustainable. The fishing industry has an important role in this process. We also know from research that the fishing, global fishing industry is under threat from transnational organized crime. This relates not only to illegal fishing, economic crime and corruption, but is also crimes which attack the dignity and respect to which all humans are entitled. Unfortunately, there is evidence of modern slavery in the global fishing industry today. We cannot accept that, that people are treated like slaves. We cannot accept that fishing companies have to compete in a market with corruption and economic crime. And we cannot accept that criminals are fishing illegally at the expense of livelihoods of coastal populations. This only leads to more poverty. Finally, we cannot accept that these criminals do not pay taxes and duties. Income that we need to build a better and more resilient countries and communities. That is precisely why we have launched the Blue Justice Initiative. To work towards a sustainable and fair blue economy free from fisheries crime. I believe that this work is crucial if we are going to achieve the sustainable development goals. The Blue Justice Initiative is based on the Declaration Against Transnational Organized Crime in the Global Fishing Industry, which was adopted in Copenhagen in 2018. Through this initiative, the Norwegian government supports capacity building that addresses the challenges described in the Declaration. Key issues such as governance, interagency cooperation, fisheries law enforcement, intergovernmental communication, investigation techniques, and human trafficking in the fishing industry will all form part of the initiative. We need to recognize all these issues and we need more international cooperation. The Blue Justice Initiative is our contribution and I hope that you will join me in pursuing this important work. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Gunnar. There are participants. A cross-cutting issue when dealing with fisheries crime is international cooperation. We know from experience that communication between governments is essential when dealing with complex international problems. This is basically the reason for this conference today. We also need to create conditions for communication between countries on a more practical level. This is the reason why we have supported the development of a secure digital communication platform. This platform, called the Blue Justice Community, can be used when governments, authorities need to cooperate with each other across borders in a secure way. The development of this tool is being done in cooperation with a similar tool we already have in Norway called the Barents Watch. This tool safely allows communication between government agency in our own country. Based on our experience from this technology, 
We have created a prototype for international cooperation and capacity building across border. The goal for the Blue Justice Community is to allow governments to work together against organized fisheries crime and to build trust, support effective communication and promote cooperation across borders. I hope this tool will be useful to combat fisheries crime in the future. Thank you.